So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. Another beautiful day today here in Pennsylvania. Thought it was going to rain there a little bit ago, but it did not. We could actually use some rain. I am over here at neighbor Cliff's place, and we just finished everything up here finally. They are going to deliver the uh, lumber package tomorrow for the shelter that goes on this pad right here. All that will be left to do over here is this area right here. But since they're going to be working here, uh, we're going to leave this alone until they're all done. Then I'll just bring the tractor and the tiller over, till all this up. We'll rake it out and reseed that. But everything else is uh, done as far as what we need to do. Came out pretty good. Cliff just ran to get some more bales of straw. We ran out of that. But we put some uh, river gravel here as a border like he did over around the pool on both sides. And we spread, yeah, one triaxle load of topsoil all around here. Everything's seeded right now. He will uh, finish mulching it tonight, and it'll be good to go. But I really like his field stone look right here, especially for that uh, patio for the firing right there. But he just told me, I forgot, this was a total of uh, 29 yards of concrete. That's the sidewalk, that patio, and this right here. 29 yards. But anyway, I'm going to head over to the house right now, get some dinner. And then uh, probably head down to my sister's place and work on her driveway some.
All right, I'm down here on my sister's driveway now, pretty close to where my mom's driveway breaks off and goes up the hill. I'll show you what I have going on here. So I picked up uh, three joints of pipe. That's 15 inch, 20 feet long. What I'm gonna do with that, up the driveway there a couple hundred feet, I'm gonna put 30 feet of that pipe across the driveway headed towards the stream. And then I'm gonna cut this down over here and uh, reestablish a ditch line over here. Actually, as long as I can remember, there's never really been one there. But that ditch line will come down here on the other side of the skid loader. And if you guys have been here a while, you may have remembered a while back, I don't know, a year and a half ago or something, I put a big pipe down through this section of yard right here. That collects all the water from way up on the hill. It dumps out right here. And then I've got a big pipe right here, like 40 or 50 feet that crosses over there. So I'll tie this ditch into that. I have a bunch more work to do down here, but it's actually starting to come together. Right now, kind of looks like a bomb went off, but in the next day or two, should be looking pretty good. Something worth a mention, uh, if you're looking to buy some pipe for a project, make sure you call around. The prices vary greatly. Same pipe, same manufacturer, just different suppliers. I called one place and uh, they wanted $325 a joint for that. This was $249 a joint. I just called up to my mom's and my sister's to make sure everybody's stuff is still working. There's a piece of cable right here. That's old. I hit a piece right over in here. But everything they have is in the air right now. This is just old stuff in here. Ran all the way up to her house, old cable. I think it kept breaking so many times, they ended up just putting it up on the pole. The reason the cable broke so many times was when the cable company put it in up here, it was like six inches deep in places. Some places, not even that. Uh, you could even catch it with a snow plow on occasion. But anyway, everything's up in the air right now, so uh, I think we're good to go. But anyway, before I wrap this up, I have to tell you a funny story. As many of you know, we live north of uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Well, they recently renamed Heinz Field. Heinz Field is where the Pittsburgh Steelers play, and some other company got the naming rights. It's called, I don't even know what it's called, Accu, Arikasur, Accusur. I don't even know what it is, and nobody else knows what it is. Apparently, it's some brokerage company or something from Michigan and I have no idea why, but they renamed Heinz Field something else, and everybody's ticked off about it. What's funny, though, around here, whatever it was called originally is what everyone will call it from here on out anyway. So they probably paid $100 million or something to put their name on it, and everyone's still going to call it Heinz Field. Kind of like how I call the old apple orchard the old apple orchard when it hasn't been an apple orchard for 40 years or something. But anyway, I think that's about it for today's video. Appreciate y'all being here, and I will catch you on the next one.